Facilitating inclusive STEM learning experiences for English language learners empowers all students to engage in meaningful learning and language use with their peers. When educators are attentive and intentional in meeting the needs of English language learners, all students benefit. In the computational thinking with monsters activity, I started by going over the vocabulary and provided visuals and verbal supports to help them understand what these words mean. I made sure that I had materials in Spanish, so thankfully code.org provided those, um, those translations for us. I also um, just looked over the words um, in Spanish. I'm not a Spanish speaker, but um, at least I can recognize some of the cognates. During the delivery of vocabulary, um, I try to include uh, total physical response, so body movements with vocabulary is super helpful for English language learners. So decompose, we start with a big ball of something, right? It's a big problem, and then we break it into smaller pieces. Decompose. I did the um, decompose, so it's a big idea to, you know, crumble away. So that's one of those giving the kids a, a mind peg or, or something to attach to another association is really helpful. Also, I know that I speak fast, but I was aware when I was talking fast, I'd be like, oops, I'm talking too fast. I need to slow it down and be purposeful about the vocabulary I'm using, um, just so that way all students are able to work in. Also, I structured the class to be in small groups. We, they originally had them in rows. I put them in small groups, giving all learners, uh, regardless of English language learning status or whatever, um, benefit from talking to each other um, to process learning. I wanted them to use their cultural assets and home language to support one another. <laughs> So you're giving her, on that last step, the algorithm, right? And you're explaining in Spanish. That's awesome. She's a good teacher, right? Yeah. So, um, those are some of the strategies I used for this environment.